here. I hope you are fine. Well, today is Tuesday, the 6th of July. It is our last class before holidays. Then you will have winter holidays. I hope you are happy because winter holidays are very near. Yes, okay. Well, today we are going to um, go to Unit 8. Yes, we are going to see uh, verb patterns, verb with ing and verbs with to infinitive. Yes, okay, you have everything there. We are going to um, stop in each part. Yes, uh, then we are going to work on pages from the classroom, from the class book, sorry, 93, 94, 95, 96 and 97. Then you will have holidays, homework, activity book, pages 60, 61, 62 and 63. And from the cuadernillo, you will have pages 9, 8, 18, 19, 22, 23, 24 and 37. Plus, you have to read the story from your collection of short stories, the one that you um, bought, you already bought, the, uh, A Midsummer Night Dream, yes? Okay, this is the one you have to read um, during the holidays, okay? Well, so can we start? Yes, all right. I want you to put the date, to put the date on pages 93, 94, 95, 96 and 97. Yes, okay, prepare your highlighter. Yes, prepare your uh, book from A to Z, el libro, el libro de, el cuaderno de vocabulario, lo tenés que tener a mano también. Yes, okay, and your uh, notebook of English, okay? Is it clear? Right, there we are. Wait a minute. Today is Ringo Starr's birthday, yes, okay, uh, by the way, yes, okay, um, there we are. What about holidays? What about unusual holidays? Have you ever had unusual holidays? Do you remember the, type, the types of holidays? Well, so um, we are going to work on vocabulary. So I put here vocabulary, holidays, de la A a la Z. Of course, you already know that you have to prepare de la A a la Z vocabulary uh, notebook, un notebook with de la A a la Z, I have already explained. And whenever we have a vocabulary, all, vocab all the vocabulary must be there. Okay, is it clear? Well, so uh, let's go to the projections I have prepared. Yes, okay. Okay, so um, let's talk about unusual kind of holidays. Yes, for example, <coughs> sorry. Would you like to go on this kind of holiday? I can't, I can't erase the board, yes, because I will use, um, I will explain the things on the board, yes, so try to focus on the photo, not on the um, things written on the board, okay? Uh, well, what can you see here, okay? In the background, you can see mountains, yes, okay? Uh, they can, you can see um, flowers, or, I don't know, a grass, Yes, it's not grass, but it's a plantation of something. Yes, okay. Um, but the thing is that he's riding his bike and he's wearing a helmet, a special kind of, uh, I mean, equipment. Yes, uh, he's carrying a bag, a black bag. Yes, okay, uh, on his back. Yes, and I think uh, I would like to go on this kind of holidays. If I am, yes, trained, yes, because I think he's going to uh, go around the world, but on his bike, yes, okay? Do you think it is an unusual kind of holidays? Would you like to go on this kind of holiday? Yes, no, and why, yes, okay? <coughs> and then we have um, blah, 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 another picture, okay? Well, do you remember the kind of holidays? Yes, in third year, <coughs> sorry, we have already, um, we have already 
uh, studied vocabulary as regard uh, holidays, but you have cultural holidays, yes, okay, visiting museums, yes, um, discovering things about art, yes, okay, cruise holidays, on a cruise, yes, okay, uh, beach holiday, and spa holidays, and I want you to choose which one would you like I, and why, yes, okay, uh, if I need if I need uh, to relax, yes, I could choose, um, wait a minute, I think I could choose spa holiday, yes, okay, and also beach holiday, a combination between the two of them, yes, okay. Uh, which one would you choose and why, yes? Okay, spa holiday because uh, you could relax, your body could relax too, yes? Okay, um, what else? Okay, then we have beach holiday because I like the beach. I could relax with the, the sound of um, the sound of the sea. For example, yes, okay, is it clear? Good, well, uh, I want you to talk at home, yes, okay, good. Then you have more type of holiday, sailing holiday, safari, cruise, yes, okay, cycling holidays, the first one uh, we uh, introduced at the beginning, yes, okay, um, I could go on a cruise, yes, on a holiday cruise, yes, okay, on a cruise, yes, but not now, yes, I will wait until uh, 50 years old, until my 50 years old, and it could be better, because on a cruise you can do many things, yes, okay, you can go shopping there, you can do shopping, you, you have, um, a park inside it, yes, a water park inside it, you have spa there, you have many things to do, you can dance, yes, because you have party there too, yes, so I would leave it for then, not now, yes, okay, now I would choose a cycling holiday, um, safari, not safari for me, yes, because I am not very keen on going to safaris, yes, okay, but it could be interesting, yes, okay, uh, well, you have, okay, you, can, you have beach holidays, sightseeing holidays, okay, and you have all the vocabulary, beach, uh, snorkel, snorkel, umbrella, swimsuit, lifeguard, swimming, yes, ice cream, uh, sandcastle, flippers, yes, you know the flippers, yes, okay, all the vocabulary you need. Then you have sightseeing, yes, well, you have vocabulary used, yes, for example, cathedral, castle, guide, guidebook, uh, guided tour, yes, okay, take photos, buy souvenirs, send a postcard, yes, okay, and then you have um, activity holidays and camping holiday. And then you have, I would choose an activity holidays because I am very active. Um, uh, I could get used to doing, yes, some sports I haven't done before. I think I could try. Yes, you know, you have buggy jumping, uh, climb, rock climbing, uh, riding, surfing, yes, canoeing. Uh, scuba diving, yes, okay, all the activities for an activity holiday, so if you are active, an active person, you could choose an activity holiday, yes, camping holiday, um, I think my daughters and my husband could like this kind of holidays, because they like camping, they like green places, they like being under eating, under a tree, near a river, Yes, okay, so tent, packing, guidebook, insect, sprite, yes, all these words are uh, rucksack, yes, okay, um, then you have a tent, yes, okay, uh, sleeping bag, 
yes, torch, river, woods, yes, all this vocabulary uh, is used when you are talking about camping holidays, yes, okay, and what about uh, riding your motorcycle around different cities, would you like to do that, yes, you think it would be tiring, difficult, what disadvantages do you think you would, uh, um, you would find, yes, okay, if you are talking about riding your bike around uh, different cities or uh, around the world, maybe, yes, okay, uh, but I think you have to take more than one year off, yes, okay, uh, what about repairing, the repair of the bike, if it's something, of course, you will have to um, get your, have your, um, motorcycle repaired, yes, so you have to uh, have um, money, yes, to uh, this, uh, to solve this kind of problems as regard motorcycling, your motorcycle, yeah, no motorcycle. What about this, yes, okay, uh, this is in a special kind of holiday, like a camping holiday, but not very camping, because you are not, you are not using a tent there, but I think these are special kind of huts, yes, but uh, made of glass, glass, because they, they have um, the shape of a hut, you know, but it is a, a glass, it is made of glass, yes, you have a bed there, not many things there, but it's all the, the, the main things you need, for example, a bed, I think the bed looks very comfortable, Yes, maybe during the morning you have uh, special activities prepared for doing. Yes, okay. And I think it could be very interesting. At night you could see the stars. Yes, you could listen to the sound of nature. And I think it is a very secure place. Yes, because any uh, insect could enter there. Uh, any snakes. Yes. <clears throat> um, I would like to, um, I would like, I would like, love to spend a night, uh, yes, or a day, or two days there, yes, okay, but I prefer choosing the spa uh, holiday, yes, okay, well, that is so, yes, okay, I want you to go, put the pictures again, rewind the video, and choose uh, this kind of, uh, activities yes okay and it was okay today it is today unit eight and we are talking about holidays but what about winter holidays yeah these holidays could be very special because we we can't we won't be able to go to um two week a uh, two weeks holidays yes so i think oh my god it's very sad but um it would be very uh, do you think it would be very boring Yes, staying at home. I think I could rest, but I will miss uh, holidays at a hotel, a day at a beautiful spa. Yes, okay, because uh, it is very interesting. It is nice to take at least one week of holidays because your mind can relax. But sometimes the disadvantage is traveling with kids. Yes because they want everything, yes, again, they want to play, they want to go outside, yes, they want to go to different places, and uh, maybe you want to go to other places, but they are kids, so you have to choose kids' places for eating, comfortable uh, coffee shops that uh, are not very formal, in a way, if I can say this, yes, but um, places that are prepared for children, yes, with games, yes, with parks, little parks for them to play, so um, it's like this, but these uh, holidays could be very special, yes, so I want you to tell me what things, think, say at home, what things uh, could you do these holidays, yes, okay, of course you have holiday homework, as always, but apart from the homework, yes, what would you do? Yes, what do you think uh, could be suitable for doing, yes, okay? Do you think it will continue? Uh, our life will be like this from now, from now uh, onwards, yes? Do you think um, it's going to change? Or we are going to continue living these kind of things, yes? Staying at home, 
uh, viruses all the time, yes, a kind of war, yes. Do you think it would change or not? Um, sometimes um, the way human behave behaves makes me uh, think that it's not going to change, yes. For example, yesterday I uh, saw the news, I was listening to the news and I saw uh, on TV too, yes, uh, that in England uh, they were allowed to go out and all the parks, all the parks were full of rubbish, rubbish everywhere, all the kind of rubbish you can imagine. So I think that human being is not prepared for living with freedom, yes, uh, we are not prepared for being uh, free. Yes, because you know, you are allowed, but of course you can take your bag and put all the rubbish you do, yes, in a bag and then throw it in a bin, yes. But uh, the thing is like this, we are not prepared, yes, for being uh, free, for living with freedom. Yes, so I think that um, we, have to, we have to, human must be conscious about it and change, try to change it. Yes, if we don't change it, we are going to uh, be, we will be, yes, worse than what we are now. Yes, okay? This is my opinion, yes? Think about this at home, yes? Okay, so let's go to page 93, 93, there we are, the pages, there, okay, okay. Okay, I wanted to say, yes, a mixture between okay and of course, yes, okay, well, so let's go there, uh, you have to look at the photo there, yes, on page 93, of course you have to highlight the keywords, highlight the keywords, and you have to tell me what kind of holiday do you think this is, why do you think that people do this kind of trip often, why, why not, would you like to take a trip like this, well, I wouldn't like to go there, because, uh, uh, it is frozen, yes, okay, this is tourists take photo of an imperial penguin uh, on the frozen Amundsen Sea in Antarctica, yes, okay, I wouldn't go there, yes, because I, it, it, it is, I am, I am not saying that it is an, a nice experience, it couldn't be a nice experience, it is indeed a nice experience to see this kind of penguin, and they are very, very near, yes, okay, I think it could be an activity uh, you would uh, never forget, yes, but um, I am not prepared to go, I don't like cold places indeed, in fact, I like um, hot places, yes, but it, is a very, it could be a very nice experience, but I wouldn't choose that. What about you? Would you choose uh, this kind of holidays? Yes, no, and why? Yes, okay? Maybe if you are researching, if you are going on a research trip, it could be very, very interesting for those people who are studying about nature, about animals. So it could be a very, very, very nice um, uh, experience. And for those who are photographers, I think it could be uh, very um, um, interesting too. Yes, okay? Um, well, you have, of course, you have to uh, have a special kind of clothes, yes, okay, um, well, I don't know if the camera, if, if the camera must be special to, special to, well, um, you think about it, yes, okay, um, well, shall we go to the listening, we are going to go to the listening, 6.61, and we are going to listen to people, yes, uh, talking about travel, Write the number of the speaker from one to three next to th the things they talk about. Being on planes, repeat at home, business trips, day trips, delays, luggage, yes, planning. Uh, this is what uh, make me, uh, makes me be um, stressed when I am traveling. When I am traveling, um, the delays, yes, okay. I don't want to be delayed. I don't have, I don't want to have any delay, yes, but it happens, yes, it happens, and uh, whenever I, uh, I have to switch um, planes, I try to be two hours um, earlier at the airport, yes, I check everything, yes, if you are traveling, traveling alone, it isn't a problem, but if you are traveling with kids, 
you have to control everything it is very stressing yes and you have to teach from uh, you have to teach your children from very little from when they are very little uh, to take care of their luggage to prepare not all the luggage but at least uh, some things so they uh, start being uh, mature yes uh, enough yes to solve this kind of things yes I, it's my advice yes planning mm, I have already told you that uh, when I pack yes um, I don't pack very uh, quickly or easily yes um, I spend more or less a week because I have to prepare my things and my two girls uh, things yes not David's because he oh my god he packs in I don't know in hours sometimes yes okay um, well you know men are different from women because we have to prepare everything accessories um, clothes shoes yes okay and he always says to me okay prepare everything come on quickly just a pair of shoes and uh, um, yes trainers and that's all yes I, it could be impossible for me yes so I won't change yes okay or maybe when I am 60, when I'm 64, yes, okay, but not now, yes, okay. So, um, well, it is a disadvantage because it takes me um, a week, more or less, yes, okay. Um, well, let's go to the listening, yes, all right. There we go. 61. Unit 8 Opener. 1. A couple of years ago, I went on a round-the-world trip with a friend. What an experience. The best bits were when we took local buses and trains. You know the kind of thing. They stop everywhere, and it takes ages to get to where you're going. On the other hand, we met some really interesting people on the buses in Peru. Yeah, uh, it stopped. It stops every in every city. It happens to me once when I was in Paraguay. We took the wrong um, the wrong bus. Yes, I was very young. I uh, we were couple. David and I were couple. Yes, and I say we are going to take this bus. Okay, well it's okay for me. He didn't know about the place, and I hardly knew about it. Yes, so we took the wrong. Um, uh, the, I, I'm saying the wrong bus because there was another that didn't stop in each city. Yeah, so we took the one that stopped in each town. Yes, uh, and of course <laughs> it was a nightmare because we never arrived. It took ages for arriving. Yes, but at least we could see many, um, many beautiful uh, little uh, town there. Yes, okay. We learnt a lot about the history of Peru, but I took far too much luggage with me. I couldn't carry it easily and I worried about losing it. Just take a small backpack with the essentials. That's my advice. Okay, small backpack with your essentials. That, that is what I did when uh, we travelled in Europe, yes. Only the backpack with your essentials, yes, because we needed to move yes uh, comfortably yes two i haven't traveled very much in the last few years i've been on a few day trips to liverpool and i've had a couple of weekends away to scotland this year i don't go far anymore i'm more interested in the place i'm going to than in the journey Edinburgh and Glasgow are fascinating cities. But in my experience, the key to a good trip is good planning. Don't leave anything to chance. Okay, planning is very, uh, very good. Yes, it, it could be my advice too, because we, uh, when we travel uh, to those cities in Europe, we, ha we have everything planned. But there could be some things that appear that are not planned yes okay there are some things that we appear
For example, uh, we have already uh, we have in the schedule um, uh, many hotels, but they were um, not available. Yes, so we have to. They were cheap hotels, but we in some cities uh, we we had to pay more expensive. Yes, a night that was more expensive expensive than the ones we have already chosen. Yes, so there could be some things. Yes, okay, that are not sketchy. Three. I work in IT and I travel a lot. Too much for my job. I spend a lot of time on planes and in my car on the motorway, travelling to the projects I'm working on. I don't particularly enjoy it, especially when there are delays, but it's part of my job. I often get a very early flight from Gatwick and delays can mean I lose a whole working day. I have to go on business trips abroad several times a year. My travel tip? Once the flight starts, take your watch off and relax. You have no control over the time you arrive, so why get stressed? Okay. Good. So pay attention now. Yes, pay attention now. Yes, okay. Uh, no, it's probably a once in a lifetime trip. It's a long way to travel and must be very expensive. Condition might be difficult or dangerous. Yes, okay. And then you have exercise two. Yes, okay. Being on plane. Yes, three. Business trip, three. Day trip, two. Delays, three. Luggage, one. Planning, one and two. Yes, round the world trip, one. Talking, uh, taking local buses and train, one. Trains, one. Traveling for work, three. And weekends away, two. Yes, okay. So, listen again. Yes, you will listen again. Each speaker shares a travel uh, tip. Yes. What are the tips? Yes, okay. Speaker one, do it. Yes. Speaker one says, just, we have already talked about it. About it, just take a small backpack with the essentials. We have already said that. The key to a good trip is a good planning. Yes, don't leave anything to chance, but there would be some things to chance. Yes, okay. Uh, because sometimes uh, you have everything scheduled, but some things appear when you are travel. Yes, some things happen that are not prepared, not planned. Yes, yeah, so you have to be prepared to solve uh, these uh, um, things that appear, yes, that are not scheduled, yes, okay? On the first start, uh, starts, uh, take your watch off and relax. I can't do that because I always have my watch. Wear my watch, yes, yeah, because I need to, first of all, we don't, uh, uh, we are not too, uh, we are not used to sleeping during, uh, until very late, so, uh, we agree. My husband and I agree on that. So uh, we, we get up very early. Sometimes we are very tired, but we continue getting up very uh, early because uh, we always say, okay, this was this trip was very expensive. Yes, yeah? so we don't know when we are going to return. Yes, yeah? so we want to see everything. Yes, until the last uh, minute of the day and the last minute of, of the night. So, yes, yeah? so... We get up, we are um, uh, not very um, worried about the watch, but we are worried about it, yes, because uh, we have some uh, a time for getting up, a time for um, um, having breakfast and everything, and then we have the next train is at this time. We have to move, yes, because we want to enjoy everything we want to see everything and there are many things to do yes many things to see yes so um this is my advice get up early yes and start doing all the things um as fast as possible yes okay uh you have no control over the time you arrive so why get why get stressed why you get stressed i get stressed sometimes yes because i want to um, and apart from that, uh, you have to share, yes, for example, they wanted to see all the uh, museums um, uh, that were about the, the world, yes, okay, the world war, yes, so the first and the second, yes, so he was very interested on, in that, 
Yes, I was uh, too. Yes, because I wanted to see uh, all about the concentration camps and everything. Yes, and it was amazing. Yes, I don't regret about taking it. It took more time than what we expected. And it was very interesting and very sad at the same time. Yes, okay. Um, well, shall we go to page 94? I want you to go to page 94. It says holidays and memories, okay? I think you have uh, very good memories about your holidays. And I want you to tell me we, why did you choose the destination of your most recent holiday? And I want you to tell me why. Yes, okay, I have many good memories uh, near the sea because we always visit our uh, the children, the, my two my two daughters' grandmothers in, in grandmother in the summer. David's mother, I mean, yes. And um, I have many good mom memories uh, near the sea in the beach, yes. And I also really uh, like the beach. Uh, there is a connection between the sea and my family. Yes, so um, I have good memories, yes, and if I have to choose, I would uh, choose, I would always choose a uh, uh, beach uh, or a destination near the sea, yes, okay, what about you? So the place on TV, follow a friend's recommendation, wanted to visit somewhere new, wanted to return a place to a place, and I know went to families, uh, family or friends, okay, I want you to highlight these words because they will help you to describe um, why you chose uh, the destination, yes, and um, I want you to tell me which memory you have near, near the sea, near the mountains, yes, okay, and we're going to read this text, holidays and memories, three writers return to the lands their families came from, and this could be a very, a very nice activity, Yes, we are. We have planned. Yes, because um, my husband wants to go to uh, a part of Italy, is uh, Trento, where their um, grandparents uh, were born. Yes, and I think it could be very a very nice idea. Yes, to go with the family uh, to know the place where your uh, family came from. Yes, so um, you are going to read this, Lucy Chang, Liz, and Frank. And then you are going to do exercises two, three, and four. Yes, okay? Um, I will give you the answers, okay? Stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Exercise, do the readings, please. Yes, because uh, I, another thing I was going to tell you is that um, I recommend uh, to all the students that weren't seeing the classes, I recommend you to see the classes because if you don't see the class classes you are absent and students who are absent then we have serious problems with the grammar with the vocabulary with all the training we are doing with the reading and everything yes okay entonces traten de no saltarse las clases porque están todas las clases traten de ver para la próxima parte de lo que resta del año a conciencia las clases porque después las personas que no ven a conciencia se nota en el trabajo que hacen, se nota en el trabajo que mandan, se nota en la parte de writing, se nota en la no, en la no entrega de los, eh, de los trabajos que pido, eh, en la no entrega de los trabajos que pido, en, en, en el desarrollo que no está hecho a conciencia, ¿sí? Eh, entonces se nota, entonces la gente que no ve las clases está ausente en las clases, pero son alumnos ausentes, alumnos que después van a tener problemas en la parte gramatical, en la parte de reading, en la parte de speaking, yes, en la parte de writing, in all the skills. So I, um, this is my advice, my advice for the next part of the, the second part of the year. Otra cosa también a fines, a finales de semana, eh, le vamos a estar mandando sus report cards, que son, le hicimos la versión digital, luego comuniquen a sus padres esto, también vamos a, vamos a mandarles por el WhatsApp los eh, boletines, la libreta de calificaciones, entonces eh, va a haber una versión digital y después cuando nos volvamos a ver a final de año, si Dios quiere, cuando nos volvamos a ver van a tener la versión en papel como todos los años, ¿está? Tengan en cuenta que todo lo que les escribo es lo que parte de lo que les quiero decir, ¿sí? porque ya siempre todo lo que les tengo que decir les digo en clase, 
eh, y para los alumnos que han trabajado muy bien, sigan trabajando con esa energía, con esa responsabilidad, porque este año necesitamos más responsabilidad que otros años, ¿entienden? We continue, ok, and let's go to exercise two, one B, one B, lying on the beach, two F, yes, two F, visiting famous monument, three D, three D, yes, three D, yes, riding on a camel, four uh, A, hiking in the mountain, five E, taking a painting course, I have never done this on holidays and I think it could be very interesting because I, I have always wanted to uh, take guitar classes. Yes, and I think uh, this year would be impossible, but I think in the future uh, it could be very nice uh, to find a time, yes, uh, to take my um, guitar lessons, yes, okay? And discover if it is easy or difficult for me to play the guitar. Of course, uh, I will try in the future, yes? Um, uh, 6C, yes, playing board games, okay? Well, uh, this is one thing that we always do in, during the summer holidays, yes? We play board games with the whole family and we discuss, yes, because uh, we want to win, yes? But this is not the idea, yes? The idea is to share a good moment and everything. Yes, but well, sometimes it happens. Yes, it happens. 3B, yes, mark it. And let's go to exercise four. Answer the questions. Lucy Chang is from Taiwan, Taiwan originally, but her home is London. Her destination is Taipei. Liz, Liz is from Canada. Her destination is Belfast, Belfast. Frank is from New York. His destination is Sicily. Yes, Th two Lucy Chan and Frank Rossellini, three Lucy, four Frank, five Liz, she planned to walk along the coast but it was raining hard, yes, okay. Well, uh, if you go to London you have to be prepared, take an umbrella, buy an umbrella because there will be rainy days, yes, even if you go in summer, yes, okay. And of course you must try fish and chips. Yes, okay, um, let's go to page 95 and I want you to highlight the grammar charts there, verb patterns, ing form, and to infinitive. I have made a kind of summary, but of course you have the summary, this is for you to copy in your um, notebook, of course, but you have all the summary here, you have all the summary here, yes, the verb pattern, ing, and to infinitive, and you must go, of course, to page 170, page 170, that is the grammar reference, yes, okay? Shall we go now, okay? Page 170, yes, okay? And you have the ing form and to infinitive, yes, okay? And you have to highlight all the things, of course, yes? But first of all, First of all, I want you to prepare your de la A a la Z, yes, and organize sentences using the verb patterns, those with ing and those with to infinity. And of course, make a list like I did with the ones that go with to infinity and with the ones that go um, with ing. Uh, there is one thing I want you to know that sometimes you can uh, use some verbs with both, with ing and with to infinitive, yes? So, um, we have ing plus and to infinitive, you use ing as a subject of a sentence. For example, you know, whenever you start a sentence, you say, riding my bike is comfortable, riding my eating healthy food is very good for my body, yes? So, I already um, read, write, yes, okay? Uh, a sentence there. Then you use ing after prepositions. You already know that, for example, 
I uh, went there for, you know, después de for, el verbo con ing. So that would be a preposition, and you know that after prepositions, the verb goes with ing. Is it clear? I put only, I, will, I have already written only uh, two examples. Then you can write more at home, yes? Uh, I am good at swimming. Think about, I am thinking about traveling. Yes, very often. Yes, okay. Um, to infinitive, yes, okay. After adjective, she's intelligent. I think she's intelligent enough, yes, to solve that, that problem. Yes, okay. You are very beautiful to uh, uh, be a model, maybe. Yes. I wanted to say you are tall enough to be a model. Yes, I was thinking about that sentence, but the other came. Yes, she's intelligent to solve this exercise. And then you have verbs plus two infinitive. And I want to, yes or yes, <laughs> do uh, one sentence each. And if you are not sure, because you consider that you need to write more sentences, write more sentences. Because you already know some of these verbs, yes, but some others you need to practice and you need to study by heart. Is it clear? All right, for example, I agree to go with you next weekend. Yes, I agree to teach you, but only if you study before the classes. Yes, to infinitive. Yes, uh, arrange, I arrange to go by car, not by motorbike. Yes, okay. Uh, choose, yes, I choose to uh, continue. I choose to love you, not to hate you. Yes, okay, for example. Besides, I decided to go by car. Yes, okay. Uh, do you expect to see him? Yes. At the entrance of that this of that di of that disco, yes. Okay. Um, threaten. Want to? Yes. I ask him to leave. Uh, can afford? Yes. Okay. Fail. I failed to solve that that test. I hope to see you. Uh, I managed to go, but I couldn't because of the rain, or because it was raining heavily. Yes, I would like to go to that part of the city, but I think it is very, very dangerous for me. Yes, okay. Uh, she offered to, to um, uh, she offered to carry these books, these heavy books for me because I was pregnant at that moment. Yes, she pretended to love her, but in fact he was lying to him, to her. Yes, okay. And then you have promise, sin, sin, perdón, acá dice cine, así que corrijan ustedes porque ya saqué la foto, sin, uh, good love, yeah. good, love, I could, yes, I could uh, um, like, I could love, yes, ok, um, good like era, este ya está chicos, eh? ok, así que borrenlo de ahí, está arriba, good like, love, yes, I love to hate you, yes, I prefer, to eat pasta, yes, rather than uh, meat, yes, okay, and then you have both, yes, verbs that can go with the two, begin to and begin ing, continue to and continue with ing, hate to and hate ing, love, like, prefer and start, yes, y te hice un ejemplo con stop, Stop con ING, lo que cambia es el significado, atención acá, refers to the activity which stop. Y tenés el ejemplo, I stopped working when the lights went, perdón, went off. Corregile por favor ahí, And the lights went off. Está mal escrito, corrijan por favor chicos, en el, eh, porque ya saqué la foto pizarra, eh, sí, porque agregué otras cosas más. When the lights went off, ok, o oh, bueno, lo saco de nuevo. Yes, okay, love, prefer, yes, okay, love and prefer, all right, well, um, I stopped working when the lights went off, pare de trabajar, yes, se refiere a la actividad la cual, ¿qué pasa? Para, yes, 
I stopped working. Y después tenés la otra, que es para, para realizar otra actividad. Por ejemplo, refer to the reason for stopping. I stopped to rest for some minutes. I stopped to cook for my family. Is it clear? Yes, entonces una refiere a la actividad. Stop, que para. I stop working. Yes, paré de trabajar. Y acá es para, para hacer algo. ¿Se entiende? Entonces cambian los significados. Pero tenés que saber que begin, continue, Kate, like, laugh, prefer, and stop. Pueden ir con las dos. Y te puse el significado de both, de stop, cuando eh, cambia con el significado. ¿Ok? Depending on what you want to say. Yes, sí o sí, la página 170, leída, yes, y subrayada. Yes, ok. Well, um, all the words from vocabulary must be in the la A, la Z, vocabulary book. Ok. Well, uh, then you have holiday homework, homework, but we are going to continue with page 95. I want you to do exercises from page 95, seven, uh, exercises 7, 8, 9. And then we're going to do the listening. But pay attention. Concentrate. Read the grammar first. Don't do it crazily. Yes? Eh, sacale el máximo provecho, por favor, a los ejercicios. No hagas así por rayar. ¿sí? En todo caso, lo que yo te sugiero, uh, I advise you to read the grammar first, try to memorize the verb, and then try, if you can remember, the grammar. Is it clear? This is my advice. If you want to be successful, listen to my advice and do it. Yeah? And if you have a better way of doing it, follow yourself. Yes? Okay? Um, follow yourself. Okay. Well, um, shall we go to exercise seven? Yes? Okay. Number one. Yes? Okay. Number one. Lucy Chang finished going to the market yes number two lucy chan chang yeah i would say lucy yeah because i i'm not very uh, good at pronouncing uh, names in japanese or chinese yes okay okay lucy uh manages to speak i managed to go yes uh although it was raining heavily yes is it clear Good. Number three. Liz avoids going to Ireland. Four. Liz. This is number four. Wait. Wait, 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 because I want to check if there is another um, possible answer there. I would say they are. Uh, this is number four. Liz uh, mm, mm, mm. managed. You have there or no? I will repeat again. Yes, there are six sentences. So number one finished. Number two managed. Number three a boys. Number four managed. Yes, but you don't have this. Uh, um, Expected to, intending to walk along the coast. Yes. Expected to. Yes. Ella era la que quería caminar, pero qué pasó? Yes. Okay. But it was raining. Yes. Okay. Uh, 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 expected to walk. Yes. Okay. Expected, yes, okay, now get it. Expected, yes, okay. Well, she expected uh, to walk along the coast, yes, okay, but it was raining heavily. Number five, yes, threatened, yes, or no tienen esa. Frank, parents, uh, 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 plan to travel to Sicily, okay. Wait a minute. 
I'm checking. Planned. Yes, okay. When I was a child, my parents always promised to planned. Yes. Okay, and then you have uh, Frank fails to return the village. Yes, okay. Exercise one. Yes, the, uh, the key was were wrong. Yes, so I had to check. I'm sorry. Yes, okay. Eight. Traveling. Yes, okay. This is ing at the end of the sentence as a subject, como sujeto de la frase. Ya saben que siempre comenzas con ing. Yes, uh, number two, to find. Yes, easy to find. Easy is an adjective, and you know, after adjectives, the verb goes with to infinitive. Cycling, sleeping. Yes, okay. Uh, number five, to stay. Yes, you have. Subraya por favor todos los adjetivos. Yes, easy, expensive. Yes, okay. Trying, going, spending. Yes, okay. Okay, tenemos una preposición ahí, por ejemplo, fed up. Yes, worried about going. Yes, so I'm after prepositions, the verb go with, the verbs uh, go with ing. Yes, shall we um, move to exercise nine? Yes, okay. You have to complete the conversation with the ing form or to infinitive and then we're going to check. Do it, stop the video and I'm going to prepare the listening for the checking. Is it clear? Right. Well done. Track 63. Unit 8A. Hi there, I'm Rose. Hi, I'm Matt. Is this your first time in Corfu? No, actually. We come every year. We love staying here. So do we. We keep coming back year after year. It's hard to find somewhere with everything you need for a holiday. Great beaches, fantastic weather, and something for everyone to do. I know. Actually, there's a paragliding class later. I fancy trying that. My friends want to do that too. To be honest, lying by the pool is my idea of a holiday. Oh, I get a bit bored with doing that after the first day or two. I need to move around and do things. Well, why not? It's a different way of relaxing, I suppose. Yes, that's right. Well, if you decide to go paragliding with your friends, we'll see you there. Okay, so number one, staying. Number one, staying. We love staying. Love, my NK. Yes, number two, yes, keep coming. Estos son los verbos que te enseñamos desde tercer grado, pero ahora se unen más a la lista. Love, like, enjoy, hate, don't like, doesn't like. Yes, and now you have more. Yes, so you need to study them by heart. Yes, okay. Number three, to, uh, to find. Number three, hard to find. Adjetivo más to infinitive. Uh, fancy, trying. Fancy, ing. Five, yes, one, two, infinitive, if one, ya lo sabes. Yes, to be honest. Lying, yes, number seven, doing, yes, more with, ing, una preposición después de, eh, un ing después de una preposición. Number eight, to move, yes, number nine, relaxing, and number ten, to go. Yes, okay. And in exercise 10, I want you to complete with your own ideas. I enjoy watching TV and, yes, and having breakfast at home. Yes, okay. And not at home, uh, in bed. Yes, okay. I quite fancy, I quite, I quite Fancy uh, sleeping, yes, until late, yes, okay. Um, then what else do we have there? Yes, okay. Uh, wait a minute. Yes, I don't mind. 
uh, watching TV until late. I'd like to go fishing. Yes, I like to go camping uh, with my family. Yes, to share a good moment. Um, I don't like. Uh, doing exercises of math. I am interested in uh, reading science fiction novels. Uh, I can stand listening to reggaeton. I am happy um, sharing moments. Um, I am happy to share a good moment with my family. I am happy to teach you. Yes, okay. Así todos los ejemplos que lo tenés que hacer. Not only oral, but also written. ¿Ok? Quieren todos en tu cuadernito. ¿Y es? ¿Por qué? Porque haciendo ejemplos vas a fijar. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Wait a minute. Let's go to uh, page 96. Page 96 and 97. And these are the last, the last pages, okay? And then, okay, you will have um, holidays, yes, okay? Winter holidays, yes, all right. Wait a minute. Yes, okay. Well, so it says walking for wildlife, yes, okay? A concert, uh, Mike is a conservationist whose work makes a difference, yes? Um, you have to read this, yes, okay? And you have to highlight the grammar there. This poacher, survey, and trek, yes, okay? Highlight the grammar there. And I want you to tell me what kind of work does a conservationist do? What is their main aim? Yes, I want you to think at home. Yes, you have to look at the information about my faith. Do you think he's a typical conservationist? Why, why not? Do you know any conservationist? Yes, have you ever talked to a conservationist? Well, a conservationist is somebody whose job involves trying to protect nature, yes, uh, the environment. Uh, Conservationists, conservationists uh, might campaign to stop uh, people uh, or companies from cutting down trees, uh, killing uh, animals that are in danger of extinction, yes, uh, polluting water, yes, okay, and everything as regards um, looking after the environment. They, they might work to stop plants or animals from uh, going extinct what i have said before yes so shall we go to the listening you're going to listen to uh, an extract from a radio program about mike pay and you have to complete the sentences of course you have to read the sentences before um completing so you have an idea uh, about what you have to write is it clear right there we are track 65 Unit 8B. When you've walked across half of Africa and you've walked up the west coast of North America, where do you go next? On tomorrow's show, my guest is a man who can give us the answer. I'm talking about the conservationist Mike Fay, a man with a very personal way of saving what he calls the last wild places on Earth. For those of you who don't know Mike Fay, he does some unusual things in his work with the Wildlife Conservation Society. For instance, he spent more than two years of his life trekking through some of the toughest places on the planet. And he often just takes a t-shirt, a pair of shorts and a pair of sandals on these treks. Faye says he has only slept in a bed about 50 times in 10 years. The last time he was on the show, he'd just finished a survey of giant redwood trees on the west coast of the United States. What has he been doing since then? Well, he hasn't been taking it easy. In fact, recently he's been walking again, this time across Canada. In Western Canada, mining companies have been looking for gold and oil. 
To do this, they've been digging up enormous areas. They've destroyed hundreds of square kilometers of wilderness. You can hear what Mike Fay feels about this in tomorrow's show. And we'll also find out what's been happening to national parks in Gabon since Fay was there. We know that people have been trying to set up mines near the parks, and the Gabonese government has stopped at least two mining operations. Hear more tomorrow in my interview with Mike Fay, and find out what he thinks a population of 7 billion people might do to our planet. Okay, well, I give you the answers. All right, exercise three, there we are. All right, will, yes, okay. Uh, white places, sorry, white places. Number two, two, yes, two years. Three, pair of sandals. Four, Canada, and five, seven billion. Yes, exercise four, yes, okay. You have to listen to the extract again. Yes, I'm completed. Now is the time that you pause the video. Listen again and then complete. I tell you the answers, okay? Has been walking. Number two, have been looking for. Number three, have been digging up. And number four, have been trying. Yes, okay? And this is the present perfect continuous. Maybe, yes, you already know. You already know how to form the present perfect. You use have or has. That's the past participle. Past participle. I have done my homework for three hours i have already corrected everything yes okay and you have already for since yet yes i haven't finished my homework homework yet have you finished your homework yet yes just i have just finished my homework yes you know all the adverbs from present perfect because you already know this tense and now you have present perfect continuous. It means that is a present perfect that is in process. Yes. For example, I have been writing, I have been working on my project since three o'clock. I have been cooking this paella for one hour. Yes. Is it clear? Yo he estado haciendo algo. Okay. So you will form this tense with have or has plus be plus ing. You already know cuando usa have y cuando usa has. She has been painting for three hours, for since, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Have you, um, how long have you been painting? How long have you been recording the classes? How long have you been studying? Yes, okay? I want you to write three questions with how long. How long have you been studying? How long have you been painting? How long have, have you been practicing for your guitar course? Yes, is it clear? So you have three questions with how long plus present perfect continuous. And then make three more, sen three more questions with how long with present perfect, perfect. How long have you studied? How long has your mother cooked? How long uh, has your mother studied English? How long have you played basketball in that uh, club? Is it clear? Yes? All right. So now I want you to highlight the chart here. And I want, to, I want you to go to 170 and highlight the grammar chart. Ahí tenés como se forma, have or has, más past participle, on page 170. Yes? Have or, can, have or has plus being plus ing. Tenés los dos tiempos, la revisión de los dos tiempos. Yes, okay. Uh, to, uh, the present perfect continues to talk about long action and repeated action that started in the past and continues in the present. You know that the present perfect started in the past, pero pueden continuar en el presente. Si yo te digo, I have written, I have corrected for three hours, comencé temprano y sigo. Entonces comienza en el pasado, pero puede seguir en el presente. Por eso te continúa en el presente. Yes, okay. Um, well, you have all the uses, and then you have present perfect continuous to emphasize uh, the continuous activity. 
I've been researching, I have found the present perfect, uh, the perfect one, perdón. I have found the perfect one for us. Yes, ok? Acordate siempre que lo que es en continuo tiene la idea de continuous, the repeated action. I have been doing. How long have you been painting? Yes, ok? He estado pintando por tres horas. Hace énfasis a la duración, a eso que está en proceso. Is it clear? Good. Y después tenés la question with how long, que es la que hicimos ahora en clase. Shall we go to a page 19? 97, you are going to do exercises 6, 7, 8, 9 and 11, yes? Y al final le pones talking al 12 porque te sirve para eh, realizar frases como ahora que vamos a hacer. I have been cooking since uh, 12. Um, I have always been uh, in love with Brad Pitt, yes? Uh, in the few days, I have been... Um, In the few uh, days, I have been working on my uh, projects for biology, for example. Is it clear? Describite ejemplos, hace los ejemplos orales también. Write uh, and read and then pronounce them. Yes? Is it clear? Good. Uh, where's my pen? Here it is. Shall we go to exercise six? And We are about to finish, we are going to um, correct this and I'm going to explain the homework, the holiday homework. Yes, um, I want you to focus on the holiday homework and um, bye bye. This is uh, the last class, uh, you will rest. Yes, okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yes, there we go. Present perfect simple, have a has, past past participle of the main verb. Present perfect continue, have a has, been. Plus ing from form of the main verb. Then present perfect expresses com, uh, comple, completion. Yes. And a result, the present perfect continuous expresses repeated activity. Yeah. Good. Uh, number seven. Has been working. Has been checking. Has checked. Three. Has discovered. Have been killing. Has been talking. Number five has been talking. Has talked. Has sent. Seven haven't returned. Eight have been fishing. Nine have been trying. Exercise eight. What have you been doing recently? Ojo con el orden de las questions ahí, eh? Have you been preparing for any new trips? Three. How have you been feeling since the plane crash? How many photos have you taken in your career? How long have you been traveling alone? And have you ever, have you been, sorry, have you been anywhere dangerous lately? Exercise 9, 1B, 2F, 3A, 4E, 5C, 6D, and, well, let's go to um, 10, yes? Uh, 11 is just for you. How long have you been coming to this resort? How long did you fly? Did the flight from London take? How long have you known each other? How long did you spend in Canada? How long have you been waiting for the bus? And how long have you been here? Yes, you have to match. Yes, okay. But uh, I want you to I want you to uh, invent your own. Uh, you have examples there from A to F. But I want you to invent, for example, your own. How, uh, how long, your own answers. How long have you been coming here? I have been coming to this resort since I were resort, um, since I was five years old. How long did the flight from London take? Um, it took, um, sorry, <laughs> it took five hours, for example. How long have you known each other? We have known each other for um, 10 years. How long did you spend in Canada? I spent three days. How long have you been waiting for the bus? I have been waiting for the bus for three hours, yes? How long have you been here? I have been here for one hour, yes? Is it clear? Uh, that is all for now, yes? Uh, remember to do, yes, pages from the activity book 
page 60, exercises 1 and 2, page 7, 61, 62 and 63, only exercises 3, 4 and 5. And from the quadernillo, acordate que te mandé todo, por favor, muéstrenles a los papás que les mandamos las carátulas, porque van, hay papás que han ido y no tienen, no saben ni dónde tienen que ir a comprar, qué tienen que comprar, entonces les mandamos un WhatsApp para que se acuerden que tienen que ir a comprar, pero las carátulas, sí, mandamos en el Google, en el Classroom, entonces se supone que el alumno tiene que mostrar al papá cuál es la carátula para que el papá no vaya y no sepa qué es lo que tiene que adquirir, ¿se entiende, no? Is it clear? Well done. At the beginning, um, I want to check something. Yes, ok, ya sabía que me faltó algo. De la lista 4, acá tenés que hacer compositions, number, number, one and two from the list. Ok, esto tiene fecha de, eh, hoy es 6, is it 6? No, oh my God, today is 7, yes, ok, yes, ok. Tiene fecha del 7, del um, 7, con fecha de entrega, cuando nos volvamos a ver, ¿yes? Ah, sería, tenemos dos weeks of holidays, nos vamos a volver a ver el martes 28. Esto va a tener fecha para el 28, fecha de entrega el 28 del 7. ¿Es clear? Wait a minute. Yes, ok. Composition number one and number two from the list. Sale 7 del 7 con entrega el 28 del 7. Va a estar asignado en el Classroom. Así que ustedes lo pueden hacer cuando lo decidan. En la primera parte tenemos, bueno, como una suma de contents de A. Pero, ojo, porque son los contents eh, un poquitito mezclados, ¿sí? Están todos, pero están mezclados. Así que los lees. Yes, ok. And then we have, you have all the contents, and then we have the list of compositions. And you are going to do composition number one, the list of composition from here until the end of the year. You already know how it is organized. And you are going to write a description of your mother. Yes, a description of your mother. Um, 80 words, 80 words. And write a description of your close friend, 80 words too. Of course, you have to use uh, the mass words there. Yes, okay. Te pongo 80 words both. Entonces vos ya sabés a qué me refiero. Is it clear? Good. And then you are going to do the pages there. Yes, uh, pages 8 and 9. Of course, all the things, all the pages that um, I have prepared for you, page 8, 9, 18, 22, 37, are all the uh, grammar that I want you to uh, practice again, yes? Already given grammar, but in this workbook, you are going, in this quadernillo, you are going to check, yes? What we have been um, uh, studying, yes? Is it clear? I was thinking on the next class. Yes, okay. Queda todo claro. Yes, también te tenés que leer A Midsummer Night Dream. Hacelo de a poco, vos sabés que yo siempre doy tarea. Entonces tenés que focalizarte, uh, focus on the activities you are going to do here. Usalos, hacelos a conciencia. ¿Para qué? Para que puedas sacar máximo provecho a esto. Porque si lo haces todo crazily, uh, it's, not, it's not going to be uh, well used. They are not going to be well used. ¿Ok? Well, happy holidays. Enjoy your holidays and see you after holidays. Bye bye. See you next next class after holidays. Happy winter holidays. Enjoy.